Guys, in this video, we're gonna be looking at 10 RC cars to... Guys, in this video, we're gonna be looking at 10 cheap RC cars to look out for in 2023. Not yet. 2022, 2023 cheap is not as cheap as 2020 and 2021 cheap. The stuff I'm gonna show in this video ranges from around 40 or $50 up to around 200. So nothing too crazy, not yet. And the first one we're gonna look at is My Old Faithful. This is the HBX Ravage. It's a 1 16th scale, it's brushless, it's got oil shocks, it's got metal gears. It is pretty much indestructible. I've run multiple packs through this. I've taken it to the skate park. I've jumped it around my workshop. I've taken it off-road, I've taken it on-road, I've done speed runs, and it just comes back for more. I pushed it as the best small-scale basher you could buy and it still sits there. There's another one that kind of sits next to it, but the HPX Ravage is one of the best little bashers you can get. You can also get a cheaper brushed version, just as tough, just not quite as fast, and doesn't come as standard with the oil shocks or the metal gears. If you're not into bashing, you prefer the slower pace of crawling, this is one of the best cheap crawlers you can buy. This is the FTX Outback V3. FTX is mainly available in the UK and some parts of Europe, but the good news is this is available to the rest of the world under the RGT brand. They do this Bronco style. They also do this Jimny. Now I've made a few little mods to this. I've removed the bumper. I put some much better wheels and tires on. This thing's pretty much unstoppable. Will you get out my video and go back to wherever you've come from? What about my world? Do you look like you come for some kids game or something? That is not true. Hero Wars has vibrant graphics, cool gameplay, and a user-friendly interface. Okay, well, let's show them then. Yeah, tell them more about it. In Hero Wars, everyone can find a character to suit themselves. We've got cyborgs, aliens, vampires, even furries won't be disappointed. Been playing for a couple of weeks now and have only unlocked a third. I'll unlock Chabonex, he's a cool tank who literally devours his enemies. But Celeste is the real S tier, she can switch between DPS dark form and healer light form, which makes her useful in any situation. Besides, check out this outfit that just dropped for her. There's no equal to Hero Wars, you can play it on the bus, you can play it in your lunch break, you can even play it while playing something else. It's really easy to start playing, but assembling a perfect team of heroes is an art in itself. For example, Mojo the Shaman can't heal Dark Star the Elf as efficiently as the good Grandma Martha can, while the slow cleaver makes a great pair with a swift Isaac. Christmas Magic is coming to Hero Wars. December the 24th is the best time to start playing. You can get loads of presents, cool items, collect new heroes, decorate the Christmas tree, or progress through the advent calendar and learn the mysterious story. Hero Wars is a world of six unique modes. It's got more than 300 Guild Wars servers, 100 million players. You can play alone or you can see who among you and your friends is the top dog. Oh, and before I forget, where do you think you can get 30,000 coins, 600 emeralds, and five awesome heroes to start dominating right away in Hero Wars? That's right in the description below. Go play it. Right, disappear. Right, best cheap one-tenth crawler. So these come 99% ready to run out of the box. You get everything you need, including a battery for them. All you have to do is supply batteries for your controller. Four-wheel drive, really capable, and I cannot fault these things. FTX, RGT do a really good range of affordable crawlers. These are some of the cheapest they do. It's hard to pick my favorite out of the FTX and RGT range because I like most of them. But when you see how this thing performs with a couple of little upgrades, it's mad. Next is probably the cheapest one on the list. This is a little mini EV from CXD. This is my one ready to race whenever I get around to it. These are actually a real thing in China and these are licensed ones. Fully proportional, again, 99% ready to run. Just need batteries for your controller. Working suspension, high and low speed. They're pretty good outdoors, but where they really shine is indoors on a little track. I've got a load of these and I am planning to buy some more and have an actual proper race with them. Awesome little things and they only come in at I think around 35 pound, 40 odd dollars. These were initially made for the Chinese domestic market and um, for kids, but honestly, we can't let all the kids have the fun. These are awesome. 
Next is something the other end of the price range. This is the Armour Vortex Boost. They also do a short course truck called the Centen. They also do a monster truck called the Granite. Now what I really like about these, they come two wheel drive. You can buy a boost pack to make it four wheel drive. They're also brushless ready. So they come brushed. They're not the fastest thing out of the box, but they're really tough. It handles nice. I've taken it off road, taken it to the skate park. Really good fun. And you can pick them up in the UK at £179, which is a really good price. I think in the US it's around about $200. The boost pack to make it four wheel drive is another 30 or 40. So if you buy one for your kids or you buy one for someone who's new to the hobby, get used to it as it is. Upgrade to four wheel drive, upgrade the motor. ESC, it's all modular in there. Really good first kind of proper RC car. Another crawler, this time a little mini one. This is the Power Wagon from FMS. Now I've got different, I've got the optional wheels on mine. It comes with these cool tractor style wheels as standard. Various wheel options for it. 124 scale, it's quite a big 124 scale. And a really unique feature of this, it's got portal axles, which increases ground clearance and improves your gearing. And it's also got a proper mechanical two-speed gearbox. It's not like some of these cheaper ones that have two speeds, that it's just electronics that's doing it. This is a proper mechanical servo operated two-speed gearbox. A really nice low gear range and then a little bit faster. This comes in three different colours and on the same chassis you can also get a monster truck. FMS produce some absolutely awesome small scale RCs. They also do some bigger ones as well. Definitely keep an eye on these guys in 2023. How are we doing? One, two, three, four, five. Halfway through. Now it wouldn't be a cheap RC car list without a WL Toys and this is my favourite. This one's a little bit of a mismatch because I've just recently done a video on it. These are the wheels and tyres it comes with. This one's brushless. They do a cheaper brushed version. The brushless one comes in, I think it at the moment, it's around £150, $160, maybe a bit cheaper. Look out for some deals on these. Crazy fast, over 40 miles an hour out of the box. Upgrade the battery to a three cell battery and you're looking at close to 60 mile an hour. Metal chassis, oil shocks. Again, 99% ready to run. Just add your batteries to your controller. Drive shafts can bend easily, but other than that, not much else goes wrong with them. A couple of years ago, they released a 14 scale brushed version called the 144001. Since then, they've released a few different models. Some have been a little bit sketchy, but the 114 from the 112 scale platform like this, definitely one to recommend. Now, as well as WL Toys, very similar and quite a new company, Rolalo or Lalo. This is their new 112 model. But they also do some 114th, some 118th as well, monster trucks, buggies. This is their top of the range one. It's got carbon fiber chassis, carbon fiber shock towers, oil shocks, again, fully ready to run. When this was released, it was $149.99 on a special offer for the first month. It's now gone up to $250. Even with my 20% code, it's still a little bit expensive for this list, I think. But I'm pretty sure at some point in 2023, these guys are gonna overtake WL Toys with the go-to reasonably priced fast buggies and bashers. Now for something that's been around since the 90s, the Traxxas Bandit. It's an old platform, it's been around ages. Why are we talking about it for 2023? I bought this in 2021. They've recently updated it with a different chassis. The brushless version comes with a pretty much bulletproof Magnum transmission. Two-wheel drive buggy. Like I said, it's been around since the 90s. The reason it's still going today is because, well, if it's not broke, don't fix it. For a buggy, the Bandit's really tough. It's been around for so long, there's loads of upgrades you can do to it. Spare support's still there for it. The Bandit and the Rustler are my favorite and the cheapest Traxxas you can buy. Price has actually gone up on these like everything, but it's kind of pushed it probably. Unless it's on offer, it's probably a little bit high for this list. And if you had to choose between this and the Armour Boost, I'd be buying the armor boost. But I still feel it needs to be on this list. Another cheapo. This is my slightly modified one. It's got a different ESC, different servo in it, but it's not far off what you can buy at the box. I've got about five or six of these. This is a brushed version. There's also a brushless version. Comes under the brand new DIRC or SG. There's this one, the Beetle. You can get a Mini, you can get a Mini pickup, you can get a Lancia, you can get a Porsche, a Fiesta rally car. I've seen some recent trucks as well. These things, indoors or outdoors, are really cool. Now they need a couple of little tweaks out of the box, which I go over on my videos. I much prefer the brushed ones over the brushless. They've got a little bit more control. The brushless ones are sort of cog a little bit. Just means they kind of like stutter a bit when they get going. The brushed ones with a little cheap Hobbywing ESC, super smooth, sort the diffs out, put the optional steering links that come in the box on. It's unbeatable for the money. The brushed ones, I've seen them as cheap, I've seen them on AliExpress for as cheap as like 40 pound, which is about $50. Super cheap, super fun. This isn't a top 10, so we're not counting down to the best, but if this was a top 10, this would certainly be close to one of the best you can get for the money. 
Want something a little bit old school that's gonna remind you of your childhood? Well, something to consider is a Tamiya. And I've picked the lunchbox because it's my favorite. I've got three of these. This is my black edition that I've converted to brushless. Tamiya don't often bring new stuff out, but what they do is they allow us as adults, some of us older than others, to relive our childhood. Some of the Tamiya range as well, you can get pre-built. It's called, I think it's called XSA, Expert Semi-Assembled. Not all of them, the lunchbox definitely one of them. I think the Midnight Pumpkin the DTO3 buggy. So if you're not interested in building a Tamiya but you still want a Tamiya, check out the XSA ones. You can also get expert built ones where they're fully ready to run, but a lot of people enjoy building the kits. You can get quite a few Tamiyas at a decent price as well. You can also get a lot of Tamiyas that are really expensive. Try finding one of them or one of them for a decent price and yeah, you'll probably not have much luck. Tamiya RC cars have been around since the 70s, but I think even in 2023, uh, they're still relevant because they're relevant to me and others that grew up with them. So yeah, I think they deserve to be on this list. And last but definitely not least is the Hypergo from MJX. MJX popped up last year. I think it was relatively new company. I think they they mainly dealt in drones and stuff, but they brought out these little RC buggies. This is the brushed one that I've converted to brushless, but they do brushless ones as well. In fact, oh here's my brushless one. <laughs> and you may think, oh my word, what have you done to that? You've destroyed it. Well, I did destroy it. Oh, well, well. I did destroy it, but I destroyed it on purpose, which is something I don't always do. But I took it to the skate park and I just kept running it and running it and running it until I couldn't run it anymore to see how tough it was. And if you watch a video of this, you probably won't believe some of the abuse it takes. It took a huge amount of abuse and, and the shock tower that's broke. I can't remember, I think it dropped on its roof from about 30 foot. So after many, many crashes. Again, come ready to run. They do, like I've said, brushed or brushless, different uh -oh. styles, really tough, really good design. The brushed ones come with like a GPS unit so you can see your speed and stuff like that. MJX HyperGo 100% deserves to be on this list of 10 going into 2023. And like I mentioned, this wasn't a top 10, all 10 of these, all 10 of these have got a unique quality in them. And it'd be worth considering some of these if you're looking for an RC car in 2023. Remember to check out Hero Wars if you want your 30,000 coins, 600 emeralds and your five heroes. Check the link out in the description. I'll see you next time.